sometimes in our pink innocence. We find ourselves follow composting, waiting for growth, but other times we rush headlong, like so many of our ancestors. But rushing or fallow, it doesn't matter. One day, you will round the corner, you'll blink, and something is gone. A heart, a limb, a promise, a person. And innocence is gone. And now you find yourself on a new path. And as though channeled through a spectrum, your course is refracted. And now some people don't recognize you. Some people will want the old you. Or some people will cry that you've left at all. But what has happened has happened and cannot be undone. We pay for our laughter. We pay to weep. Knowledge is not cheap. To survive, we must return to our senses. Sight, sound, smell, taste, touch. We must live like verbs, not nouns. And let our spirit guide us, our spirit that's found in breath. With every breath, we inhale, we exhale. We inspire, we expire. Every breath holds a possibility of a laugh, a cry, a story, a song. Every conversation is an exchange of spirit, the words flowing bitter or sweet over the tongue. Every scar is a monument to a battle survived. Now, when you're born into trauma, you grow from it. But when you experience trauma later in life, you grow toward it, a slow move to an embrace, an embrace that holds tight the beauty wrapped in the grotesque, an embrace that becomes a dance, a new dance, a dance of pink.
Say.